so we're off to pitch um, it's meant to be a practice run for the match we've got on the 18th but we've decided just to fish yeah, but, uh, yeah I can't be what a lovely day it is mate yeah, it's, well. yeah so the tide's perfect it's 1.9 meter the sun's booming oh that's lovely mate it's absolutely glorious isn't it the, the water's going to be clear as well yeah plus went out this morning didn't we oh yeah we went out and did a little crab -os. yeah it's been a bit of tickling of the crabs you know uh, managed to get only a tiny amount it's yeah we got a few out, mate it. but it's enough to keep us going through the session you know what I mean yeah so Next thing we've got to do is get there, find a parking space, and then. It's gonna be a nightmare down there, mate. It's time to find a parking space. Meanwhile, on his way from Manchester. Okay, well, the 62 wasn't that bad. Um, 10 to 1, so I'm a little bit late, but we'll see. Um, but as you see, the, uh, the tunnel, uh, we're all side, is uh, pretty busy. So I'll see you in a bit. So I'm at Perch Rock, waiting for the crew. Uh, we're going to do a practice match fishing, as I said earlier. Um, not the best conditions, easterly winds, hot, high pressure, mid-sized tide. Perfect conditions for a Mersey blank, so they say. Well, let's see if we can prove them wrong. And at least winkle out a dab or a whiting or something. But um, I don't think it's going to be easy. But as always with the crew, we have a good laugh, a bit of good banter. And it's good practice for that match, in, the charity match, in, uh, in three weeks' time. So next time you see me, I will hopefully be on the beach. Take it easy. Only just come off the bank. Turn around there. Rest of the crew behind me. I'm the third to the left, last past the right house. So let's see. So uh, we'll bang that out, get another rig ready quick, and uh, see what happens. Chasing the time at work now, anyway. Hi, well, I'm out, and I've got. Um, peeler on that one on the left hand rod and I've got a bit of squid and peeler on the right hand rod. Uh, me being me, accidentally went and forgot uh, Cockney Rebels black lug so he's going to have to change his game plan which I feel a bit awful for but um, at least uh, we're here and we're all fishing. Let's see what we can get out, eh? There's a friendly seagull. So yeah, yeah, as you can see, it is quite busy. There's anglers everywhere. Yeah, I've had a couple of nibbles on uh, my rampage, but nothing much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, stick on a bluey bait and uh, go for the ray. So let's switch over and I'll show you how I do it. Just behind the head. Cut. Oh, 
don't want to get it too big a piece. You can see, like that, that's a bit, you know, compared to the, to the fish, that might be just a little bit big. So you just want to get it like a nice. That's all really good squid. If you do say so himself. Yeah, like that'll do. Get it in there, give it a good lap, get it on the hook, get it out, get a fish, come on! You know that old saying, um, if it can go wrong, it will go wrong. Well, that seems to be my session today. Everything's tangling, um, I'm losing bait elastic, uh, things are falling over, I've lost scissors, my feet are soaking. Uh, but as I said, I'm keeping calm and we're carrying on and you never know, there's going to be a fish here, there's got to be a fish. The water's starting to settle on the uh, on the edge. Yeah, we've got a couple of hours yet before though, but um, yeah, everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. The place is really busy and packed, so it's just good to see. Plenty of anglers about, you know, so all I've got to do now is get this one out and I'll have both rods back in the water, untangled and ready to catch a fish. I see they've got me uh, affairs in order. Uh, everything's nice and uh, calm now. Great to roll out. Um, everyone's still. Everyone's um, having fun. Uh, Steve Robin on the other side of me, on the right hand side of me, he's just had a small ray, which was nice because I think he's with his lad. So that was good to see. Uh, that's the only thing I've seen coming out so far. Uh, there's been knocks and nibbles, but there's been nothing really uh, too, too, too big to write home about yet. But there's always hope on such a fabulous day. Um, so everything's back to normal, and <laughs> I'm actually fishing. I'm not stressing, I'm losing stuff, and not being able to find anything. Everything's out in the water. I've got one quite far, and I've got another one just a bit closer in uh, just to see you know, where we're at with the fish see if everything's long or short it's, you know options are always important uh, never um, leave yourself short of options always give yourself enough options but uh, it's safe to say it's been one of the most boringest sessions <laughs> we've had in ages <laughs> nothing happening uh, MC there just caught a pin waiting so he's chuffed he saved his blank on a pin waiting uh, anything for you, Si? Nothing. Absolute nothing. So... Nothing. No one's had anything along here. Not even here. a bite. There's been uh, a, ray, a ray down there and a pin waiting. And there's been absolute jack from us lot here. So, it's the hour before low now. We've got to get fresh boots <laughs> on the hook. And then give the last hour a good smashing and see what we can come up with. which is the same up and over but with a little size 2 hook which uh, I would bait with worm but uh, I haven't got any uh, so that will probably be the squid if I need to go for a flatty um, but uh, as I've, uh, certain person's forgotten my worm I'm going to bait this up with a crab and cheat A few wormless seconds later Ok so it looks like Mr Donovan could be in with something There's something on that, definitely. Yay! Well 
Wat om, Henk? Cheers, buddy. Yes, Rich. Is it about three pound, maybe? Yeah, two, three pound. Nice little, yeah, nice little rain, thick. mate. Yeah. It's quite thick. Well done, Rich. Let's all get one now. <laughs> there we go. Ta -da. Yes, Sweet mate. Uh, as you seen there, Mr. Donovan, the uh, Cockney Rebel, just had a ray. About two, three pounds. Really nice fish. Really nice looking as well. So it's a really subtle bite, just a quick bend like that, and uh, we managed to get it in. So yeah, brilliant. Good made up for him. Well done, Rich. Pibs has just landed a doggy. It's all out. Get it out. Just hold that crab for us. Yeah, just film that. I'm filming for the channel. Oh, it's really funny. Oh, wasn't it? Run out of luck, yeah. so. Uh... Looks like the D has another one. The dogs have shown up. It's starting to show already. Good sign for cod, that. Well done, mate. These are coming in early. You know what I mean? Let's get this circus. Uh, these coming in early. There you go, mate. Well Is done, lad. Well, there you have it, bang on low, and uh, Richie's just got himself a doggy as well. So, seems like it's Richie's session, this one. We've got Christoph working his ass off there. Trying to get himself one size over here as well, grafting. But we just can't seem to find them. Richie's in a great spot though, so... Weed, loads of it, all on his yeah. line. He's trying now, but we're just, we'll slowly get there. It's got to be shortened now, mate. Surely, bang on. Well, that's about as good as it got for me today. Look at that bad boy. That's quite a big one. Well, not a big, big, but that's as much as I've caught today. And I'm going back in the sea. Or here, I think it's a female. Off you go. Go and f*** someone else's bait up. Well, I've just seen that knock on size rod. It's decent knock, a decent knock. Let's see what he gets. Got some great action in that rod. Lovely rod. Where is 
the noises, come on. Keep it. Imagine. Bring it, bring it. Just handball it if you've got to. Keep reeling. Oh, just about to bounce. Something there. Oh yeah, you got the fucking crew, all the Chinese coming. Oh, it's now Walk it. Get out there with the way Come on. Oh, it's right there. There's his weight. Oh, oh! Come on. There it is. Bring it. He's coming. Oh, He's yes. coming. Coming past my camera. Here is Mr. Bay. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's foul hook. Well done, lad. Where is he? He's followed the hook. Pass. <laughs> There we go. Side got his way. It's impossible for this guy to blank. <laughs> uh, and uh, somebody else's rig. Chris done some good work getting some line in as well. Off you go, that's it, mate. Look at that. That's the river clean. Some line. Oh, only a little bit like. Yes. Well, that's it. The time has come to pack down. Well after the hour. Uh, we're all still here trying to get uh, another fish, but I think that's it. The pole's getting too much. It's just dragging everything to the right. Uh, so, so I did well there getting that one in. That was a tricky fish, especially on a snag and with an extra rig attached that he found out there somehow. Uh, Richie done well with his doggy as well and his uh, ray. Bit of a blank for me, apart from a crab and Chris. We, 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 we put the effort in, it just wasn't our day. So, um, on that note, sounds packed down. <laughs>
caught a fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we see you caught two. Two fish. You're the winner of the trophy that Chris forgot. Congratulations. Great. I'll send you a digital picture. I'll, I'll send you a digital picture of it later. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, well, on that note, uh, I'm going to sign off. Yeah, Stay safe. The blankers bus is this way, yeah. All right, so uh, stay safe, tight lines. Take care. Yes, mate. Yeah, <laughs>